With dozens of agent frameworks and no clear standard, you're left navigating a maze, spending more time choosing and comparing than actually building and shipping. Stay till the end, you will walk away with simplest way of looking at Agentic Framework by reviewing its GitHub repo with Framework I Share. If you're lost in the buzz around Agentic Frameworks, endless tutorial hells, noisy videos, and zero clarity, you're not alone. I've been through that mess and built a way to cut through it, a practical thinking framework to choose the right Agentic stack. We will start by looking at the parts of an agent, follow that by features we need to look for in a agentic framework. Following that, let's look at the major agentic frameworks by stars, and finally show which major frameworks to choose. Ever wondered why agentic frameworks feel so overwhelming? Their concepts often read like characters in a novel, hard to remember and connect. The solution? Map each idea to a specific part of the agent. Once you do that, it all starts to make sense. There are eight parts to an agent. Let's demystify them. LLM or AI model is first part agent must have. This can be locally hosted or any of the AI providers. Tools are details of the functions like the name, argument types, and expected return values, which are sent to AI model for calling. Having memory of past conversation as context is basic necessity to show minimum level agency. Workflow that involves two different activities or services are done by different agents. Does the framework allow agents to talk with each other? AI models inside the agents have to give in space to reflect on the context and tool return values. Workflow requires planning. Does the framework plans it with prompts or is there explicit flows created? In order to see the execution, some frameworks provide a graphical UI and it is usually a web server. With MCP servers spreading like wildfire, many frameworks started providing integrations. This is very important part. After breaking agents down into parts, many rush to try the most starred or hyped frameworks. But when the learning curve hits hard or the design feels unintuitive, they give up. Don't make that mistake. Let's review the how to choose the right agentic framework. From the unique problem the agentic framework addresses, we have to find how easy it is to debug and does it support multiple programming language. We need to review how well it integrates with MCP servers and even research whether there is job opportunities. There are dozens of frameworks out there. What you're seeing are just the major ones. Stars mean little. What really matters is how each framework delivers on key features. And that's what we're here to unpack. At the top, we see the, the frameworks being compared. And under each of the framework's strengths and weaknesses are highlighted. We can see Crew AI, Pydantic AI are strong in agents and tools and easy to debug. While Langgraph is an all-rounder with complex debugging process. Small agents are simplest among them all, lacking memory features. Autogen and Semantic Kernel, which are popular, are in reality tough when it comes to debugging. And Semantic Kernel provides multi-language support. No framework directly integrates with IDEs natively. When it comes to MCP server integration, only Semantic Kernel has native integration, while other frameworks have adapters or extensions to be mastered. Autogen and Semantic Kernel are best deployed in Azure, while Langgraph has challenges when it comes to ease of deployment. Crew AI and Pydantic AI have easy deployments. Crew AI and Pydantic AI are having better job opportunities, and we see they are better in other features too. We can observe that Autogen and Semantic Kernel have better opportunity in the market, while small agents are best suited for learning about agents. Agentic frameworks come in all shapes and sizes, but they all live inside a GitHub repo. Let's unpack the Crew AI repo and show you exactly what to look for so you can grasp any new framework in under two minutes. We will start by searching for the Agentic Framework Crew AI in Google. You will find the link something similar to open source as shown here. Follow that. In the framework homepage, you can see the Git repo link is shown with GitHub logo with the stars the framework currently has. Click that. To find how active a repo is, look at the Issues tab. Next, if the framework is Python-based, you will find pyproject.toml file or requirements.txt. Open that file. pyproject.toml file contains the libraries that the framework is using. If you are a developer and know about the Python packages, then the libraries will give you an idea as to what can be expected in the framework. 
If the packages are new, then you can make note of them and review them for better understanding how the framework really works. Next, the readme.md file acts as the first level intro for the framework. You can see the key features of CrewI are listed here. Scrolling further down the readme, you will find the example code. Looking closer, we can see the familiar base model class and new flow class, agent class, task class, and crew class. This at a glance tells the major classes to look for in this framework. The readme also speaks about how to connect AI models with the crew and goes on to discuss how crew AI compares to other frameworks. The frameworks usually has a FAQ section where the common doubts are questions are answered. Reading through them can provide a lot of information and in how easy or difficult the framework is. Crew AI and Pydantic AI stood out among the major frameworks we reviewed. You can explore them further in the videos below. And remember, agents are just Python scripts at the core. With the right guidance, they're easier to master than they seem.